Well, let's see. It's ten minutes after the hour of one. In a couple of minutes, we're going to meet our guests, two-thirds of Aliota Hands and Jeremiah. These guys have been making music here and elsewhere for how many years now? Ooh, 20-some 20 20 years. years. 25 years. Actually, yeah. Okay. Back from 30, 32 years. Yeah, probably around there. 32 years. Man, years. a lot. Just starting the 60s. Why don't we get a younger group in here? What the hell are we doing? Really? <laughs> hey, we're classic rockers That's right. You now. can't get more classic. Yeah, I'm right. these old farts in here. Let's we get are, some. We are used to be moldy oldies, but now we're classic rockers. There you go. I like it, so I'm going to have a jacket. <laughs> hey, if I, if I want somebody to do your stuff, I'll call Ronnie Rice. That's Thank you. All. Good. Good. Okay, let's do it that way. When was it we were together last? Has it been a year? May. Uh, last May, yes. A year ago. Mm -hmm. A lot has happened since then. Yes, yes. Uh, you guys been working. You've got a new album out. and uh, Yeah, as a matter of fact, the cut that we asked you to play on this album is the one that we played here a year ago when we just come out of rehearsal. And it actually made it to an album. And actually, it's turning out to be what they're pushing as the single. So it's the I, I remember there. that song last year, and we will play it. We've got it on a CD, and I'm sure it's still be a quality. It'll sound great. But they've got their instruments here tonight, and they're all hooked up. <laughs> where, where, where Not is... Not anymore. I don't do it anymore. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh, I meant your other Thank you. Yes, okay. Just uh, where is your other uh, partner, Mr. Aliota? He uh, is still laid up, huh? He's in Las Vegas, and he's still laid up. We had a, an accident uh, a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. And has had surgery several times. What was the? Uh, what was it? Uh, um, he crushed his lower leg. Mm, was the, uh, he uh, in a car or what? Uh, he was on a bicycle. And he was hit by a car. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, boy, that must be very frustrating. Well, it was. It was funny doing the album. We started it in Chicago, and Mitchell couldn't couldn't fly to Chicago because he had this thing on his leg, mm. no pins and casts. Yeah. So we ended up doing uh, a little, a couple of cuts here, and then we did the rest in, in Los Angeles. And Mitchell is, lives in Las Vegas, mm -hmm. and he came down for 18 hours. He wasn't supposed to leave, and he came down. We had to put like a an L strap in, in the ceiling so, so he could hold on. Hold huh? on. And then he, he'd sing, and he did nine tunes in about 11 hours. And out the door. And he had to sit down and put his leg up, and then he was gone. Yeah. So it was amazing. We. You know, actually got this thing done. Yeah. What's it like for you guys to work on the road without one third of your act? We make more money. Uh -huh. no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just, uh, no, I didn't. John no. Jeremiah and Skip Haynes are both here. Skip plays the guitar and mm -hmm. I guess sings lead. Yes, yes. And uh, John is the keyboard man, amongst other things. Huh? And, uh, <laughs> sings harmonies. He's got his keyboard set up here. This. Um, what is this thing called? Is this an electronic piano? It's a or? synthesizer. Synthesizer. It's got, a, it's got a, many different sounds in it, but it's got a piano sound there. Before this was invented, I mean, for you to do a thing like this, we would have had to brought a big piano in here. Yep, right. So this is a godsend in many different ways. It is to me. Because we didn't have yeah. to bring a big piano in here tonight because yeah. Chuck brought it. <laughs> and when you're on the road, you don't have to worry about some auditorium or some vendor giving you a piano that's out of tune and all that. That's the way they come, usually. Yeah. So this will uh, sound like how many different instruments? Um, I haven't really look, looked at it that close yet, but about 200 probably. That many? Yeah. Boy. Yeah. Can you play um, Heart and Soul? Do you know that song? No. The only song I've, I've heard it before. Fan. I've heard it before. If you'll, if, you'll, if you'll hum a few bars, we'll do it. You're really pushing to hear that one tonight. Well, it brings back memories of my youth. <laughs> we'll know it the ute? next time we come on. What's a youth? I promise you that. <laughs> What's a youth? Uh, that's a Chicago young person, a youth. A youth. <laughs> yeah, is the youth of Chicago. Like a youth is someone who gets a sore throat, right? Yeah, probably. <laughs> on, a, on a south side. On a south side. Yeah, yeah, you don't get that on the north side, though. Right. <laughs> How about chopsticks? You know chopsticks? No, I, I never took any lessons. I My never... God, I can't get one traditional American song out of it. We only know it. we only know one song, uh, <laughs> and they play it two hundred different what? With two hundred different instruments, right? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. You guys played uh, what was it yesterday at the New Navy Pier stage? No, no, no. Where we, were you? We, we were at we were at the Body Politic Festival. Oh, okay. On Lincoln Avenue, and then we played a place called River West. That's what I meant, River West. Yeah, we played River West. Uh, was that your first night. gig there, River West? Yes. Yeah, it was. It, yes, it was. was. Some old fans come to see you. Yes. 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 Had a good time. We had a really good time. So after tonight, what? You were back on the road, or going home, or what? Going home for. Um, a week or two. Yeah, and then weeks. we'll be back. We're st actually we're doing this to start 
playing again because it's really a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. So we said, let's come back in and yeah. play again and see if anybody likes it. Yeah, we'll if they like it, it, then we'll go ahead and book some more gigs. We'll put some 100,000 watts here and see you what bet. happens. You bet. My favorite place. I've been a fan of you guys for a long, long time. Your most famous song, of course, it goes back to, uh, to uh, 70 what? 72. 72, and of course that's Lakeshore Drive. When you guys recorded that song, did you ever think it would become the signature tune for your entire lives? No. Not a clue. I wrote it to be played for one person once. It was it. That was it? It was it. How, I mean, I, I know there's a story behind this. Um, <laughs> but how did it end up? It ended up on the radio somewhere, and then it ended up in heavy demand. It, I'll tell you why it ended up in the radio. Actually, because, I don't know if you remember, we made a custom version for you. Mm-hmm. And then after we did that, everybody liked that so much, we ended up making custom versions for all the other stations. And, and they, they had to play it. it yes, right. yes. Cause you know what? I played the custom version last night, but it's been <coughs> overdubbed so many times uh-huh. that now it sounds muddy. Well, why don't we just do one live? Oh, I'll tell you what, are we got tape rolling on this? Are we taping or not? Yes. Roll. Yes. See, he's on it, he's right on it. The uh, new album, by the way, is called Alley Elder Hands and Jeremiah Songs. Mm-hmm. And it's on, uh, ooh, mm-hmm. Quick Silver Records. Mm-hmm. It's even a K Tell selection. Right. Are you yes. guys going to do one of them goofy commercials for television? Hey, if they ask us. I don't guess for exactly fishing, fishing equipment. Right, for Bassmaster or something. <laughs> Here they are for Pope Hill, Pocket <laughs> Fishermen. Right. The old <laughs> yeah, that'd be like, great. A full service band. I got that'd my be, fishing license in my pocket. <laughs> I tell you what, if we do that one, okay, maybe we'll like you do Ventramatic. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. ooh. Yeah, it'd be great. And that band. stuff you spray yeah. on your head. Ooh, I love it. I love the, 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 the bold part. Huh? Yeah. I tell you what, if you'd like to do a little of your favorite uh, sure. song here, I'd be more than pleased to broadcast it on the Loop FM. Here they are, the boys. The boys. The boys. Drive from the Gold Coast back Make 
show your pleasure bound And it's four o'clock in the morning All the people have gone away You and your mind and make sure drive Tomorrow is another day And the sun shines fine in the morning time Tomorrow is another day It's okay Then anywhere I found Tripping on by with Eddie Schwartz Friday night trouble bound oh, oh, Tripping on by with Eddie Schwartz Friday night trouble bound He's around Oh, yeah, that's correct. Live music on the Loop FM, and on FM it sounds great in stereo. If yes. you'd like to say hello to our guests or let them know how they sound tonight, our Loop phone number is 591-ROCK and 591-ROLL. 591-ROCK, 591-ROLL, the lines are all available. I realize you guys have played this song maybe a thousand times. Uh, we know people who at some point say, I'll never play that again, or I'll never you know, sing this thing again. Do you ever get tired of this song? Uh, you must be able to play it almost every time you appear, right? <laughs> no, no, because it's, you know, music's really a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were lucky enough to have a song that did something. I mean, it's very hard to get songs to do things. I mean, the public literally demanded that this song be released, if I remember back to yeah, those, it was, uh, it was, it's, those days. It's I mean, there was a lot of pressure to just put it out. Yeah, it, it, it's it's strange, and actually, it's kind of nice because bottom line, if you open the show with it mm. and you close the show with everybody it, everybody knows who you are. Well, plus, you know, in between, you can do yeah. real good, and that's all right. Or you can yeah. do not so good, but as long as you open and close with it, yeah, at yeah, least in yeah. Chicago, they don't run you off the stage, yeah, and they, you know, you leave them happy. And it's fun. Besides, it's a. I didn't really. The band actually mm -hmm. didn't like the song when we first recorded it. it you know, really? as a matter of fact, our partner. Uh, the person that helped us put the song out was uh, Chuck Rose from Rose Records. Oh, he had okay. record stores, and you know, he came and said, "You put an yeah. album together." People are asking. We were playing around town, and so we did it, and we recorded it, and they put it out, and we didn't learn it. The band didn't like it, <laughs> and we were playing at a place called the Gate of Horn. Oh, I it. remember that. And uh, our manager called us up on a Thursday, I think, and said, "You got to sing Lakeshore Drive Friday night." We said, "Why?" He said, because they just went on it on the radio, and we got a 1,000 reservations. We said, well, we don't know Lakeshore Drive. So we'll learn it now. So what we had to do, because we couldn't even remember it, we had to go to Rose Records. And buy it. Yes, yeah. and the kid behind the counter did not know us. So we said, but, but your boss is our partner. We had to pay list price for our own record our, uh, so we could go uh, and learn it. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Do you only do original stuff, or do you ever, ever do anybody else's stuff? Yeah, we, yeah, we, we do. We uh, I, do, I do some. Such as uh, who do you like? A lot of a lot of different styles. What kind of style? Mm -hmm. I, I like a lot of different kinds of music. Well, what about um, Jimmy Buffett? Yeah, Jimmy okay. Buffett. Jimmy Buffett like a lot of different. You play Margaritaville. Uh, oh yeah. Let me hear a couple of seconds of that. Uh, what key is it? It's in uh, D. working again for a while, you kind of laid off there, and uh, uh, what, what was the reason you laid off for the uh, years you did? Uh, I forget. <laughs> uh, it's so many years ago. He was in a little bit know. of a blue funk or a I black cloud, huh? He moved, to, he moved to L.A., and mm -hmm. I moved uh, to the St. Louis area. And uh, Skip what, moved to Vegas. Yeah, I mean, Mitchell. What brought them back together? I don't know. It's just, you know, we Hunger, were, huh? 
Well, you know, we, we, we were on the road together for 15 years, literally. And it, it, that's kind of like, you know, if you're in a band for 15 years, it's like 24-hour group psychoanalysis. You have to work things out by the time you get on stage or you don't work. You know, so after you get that tight with somebody, you just kind of never, we never sort of lost touch. And and uh, when we did this album, it was really funny. We hadn't been in a studio together for at least 12 years. Since 79. Mm -hmm. 70, whatever it is. Wow. Yeah, that is. And we started singing some of the old songs. We started singing a song. And about 30 seconds of the song, everybody kind of stopped and looked at each other and went, wow, that sounds like us. You know, we hadn't, done it, we hadn't done it so long. And it was just... Uh, it's something you just kind of... Some, it's always been there. Never losing, huh? I guess. I like guess. riding a bike. Something like that. Yeah. It's just we never, you know, we never kind of lost touch. And now it seems like fun to... It is fun. I appreciate it now. Because um, I've had a job since I stopped. <laughs> you know, uh. the band, and I really appreciate singing. I mean, we never got away from music. We just started doing it again. And uh, that's why we came into town to see not only the, you know, promo and new record... Said, let's go play and see if anybody likes it and see if we like it. And, and they want to hear Lakeshore Drive four times a night. So yeah, that's I, what we do. And, but, and you know, we do it well, too. You know, and we we almost have it memorized. And, you know, we, we said, let's go play. And if the people like it and if we like it, let's see if we can get some jobs because we kind of know everybody in town. And so we have a yeah. shot again. So we played this weekend and everybody liked it. We had a really good time and we liked it. So we're just going to start playing again in Chicago. Right. When do you think Mitchell will be back with you? Whoa! I don't know. Hopefully the fall. Hopefully. He got a good report last time, and mm -hmm. without going into the gory details, hopefully sometime this winter. But but we're not sure. Things mm -hmm. have to keep going well for him. This might be a horrible question. Did you ever think about replacing him? Did well, that ever come up? I'll tell you. When we first got together, I don't we, know nothing. <laughs> when we first got together, we uh, were trying to figure out a name because our last names, which that's the name of the band, you know, it's kind of ridiculous, Aliota Haynes, Jeremiah. Well, it works. Well, yeah, but I mean, I, I mean, when I was with the Aliotas for the first oh, three months, I couldn't pronounce their names. You know, I was calling mm -hmm. them Alola and everything. I mean, it's an odd combination, but the reason it came out, we said, mm -hmm. if we're going to put a band together, let's just use our names so it, we're either together or we're not together, but we can never really yeah. replace anybody. So we never, you know, looked towards replacing Mitchell. Of course, we are going to be using a bass player, you know, this fall. But yeah. as soon as Mitch comes back, because he's like a kind of a harmonic genius. Singing Maybe like. yeah, what you got to do is like what Prince did, you know, just like get rid of his name until he comes back. Oh, yeah. I just say, ah, Haynes and Jeremiah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Haynes and Jeremiah. There you go. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. The bass player, the bass player will be unnamed, unnumbered, right? Well, we're saving up to buy a bass player. Is there what we're go. doing. We've got a couple mm -hmm. more payments to make, and we figure Mitchell ought to be back in, you know, good October. I hope so. I hope you'll bring him down for a oh, visit. Oh, we will. Sure. De de definitely. Sure. Of course, you guys make a lot of music, just the two of you. So. I'm sure he's probably a little worried about that. Nah. 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 Okay, he's got a good lawyer. <laughs> he's not worried. Both of us. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a quick break. Carol McGowan has got a traffic and sports update weather. And then we'll come back with uh, our guests. As I mentioned before, if you'd like to say hello or find out anything at all, uh, our number is available at 591 Rock and Roll. Or just sit back and listen to some more music, which we're going to do. This is fun. Very early in the morning. It's very quiet. And uh, here we are with live music, live performers, Great. and it's, it's all baby. custom work here. And you bet. It's fun knowing that at home somebody's maybe laying in bed with their... Wait, are those guys still alive? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my That's God. what they're saying. With their little headphones on or driving somewhere or working, listening to you know what, what amounts to a live concert on the house. You bet. Good. Let's do more. You bet. All right. We'll be right you back. Got it. This is uh, WRUP FM 97.9. I'm Ed Schwartz and Carol McGowan. Hope you're enjoying the music. We have to hear that one one more time at least before you go. Oh, there you go. I could hear yeah. that forever. I was in the newsroom and they were doing yeah. it in the in the little room back there and I was. She wants to relax for a drive again a little later. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm. Again, maybe we'll get it right next time. Okay. okay. <laughs> 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 Welcome, we'll customer, for you, Carol. Okay.
Okay, you're right. Loop FM Shadow Traffic says problems on the outbound Kennedy. Even at this hour, it's solid from Fullerton to Pulaski. It's because they're doing some road work there from Kimball to Pulaski, and just one lane is open, and the express are closed, not helping any. 23 minutes to the junction, 33 to the airport. Keep in mind the Kimball and Addison entrance ramps are closed until 5 this morning in cooperation with that road work. Traveling on the Stevenson Expressway outbound, it's down to one lane from Kedzie to Cicero, but no big problems. The outbound Ryan does back up from 51 to 71st with road work 25 minutes from downtown out to 95th Street. All of the tollways are looking pretty good and traffic is brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Now you can visit some of America's most memorable sites for an unforgettable price. Fly Southwest Airlines to Baltimore. Southwest Airlines at Midway Airport. It's just plain smart. Loop FM weather says for the overnight hours, clear with a low around 54. Later today mostly sunny, windy and cooler. A high of 75 but cooler near the lake. And for your Wednesday night, clear with a low of 45. Right now, the winds are northwest at 8. The humidity is 52%. It's 62 at O'Hare, 67 at Midway, and 70 here at the Loop FM, 97.9. And back to Chicago, Ed Schwartz. And the guys are tuning up, Carol, and we'll be right back and find out what we're going to do. The sun is shining, the birds are singing. Whenever Schweppes is what we're drinking. It's a great, great day. Hey, hey. A Schweppes dry grape ginger ale day. It's a great, great day. Hey, hey. My baby said she'd love me if I did her a favor and bought a thousand cans of her favorite flavor. It's a great, great day. Hey, hey. A Schweppes dry grape, great, great day. It's a great, great. Schweppes Dry Grape Ginger Ale. Dry, crisp, and purple. It's Schweppes Essence in grape. And it's the biggest thing to come out of England since they made hit records like this. Great, great day. Schweppes Dry, Schweppes dry Grape, grape, grape Ginger day. Ale. The it's new great, British product. The problem with shopping for an engagement ring is that all the stores seem to have the same 50 or 75 styles. Wouldn't it be great if someone would gather together virtually every known style of engagement ring and then let you choose the one you wanted at factory direct prices? That's exactly what we're doing Saturday and Sunday, June 4th and 5th at Matthew Erickson Jewelers in Aurora. We'll have all the engagement rings and wedding bands you've seen at all the other stores, plus 10 times that many more that nobody else could possibly show you. We'll have special pricing on diamonds from one quarter carat to more than five carats. I encourage you to shop all over Chicago before you come to Matthew Erickson because the harder you look, the better we look. Nobody does engagement rings better than Matthew Erickson because engagement rings are our specialty. Don't miss our Factory Direct engagement ring and wedding band show Saturday and Sunday, June 4th and 5th at Matthew Erickson Jewelers located outside the Fox Valley Mall in Aurora. Call for your diamond appointment at 820-0300. This is the Loop FM. Ed Swartz and I'm with two-thirds of Alley Over Hands and Jeremiah Skipanes singing and playing the guitar. And uh, John Jeremiah standing in front of his keyboard here. You guys have chosen another uh, little ditty here for us. What uh, what have you chosen? Uh, this is off our <laughs> our songs album CD. It's it seems so weird to say, yeah. you know, because actually we have six albums out, but um, this is the newest one. Yeah, right. So, and this is uh, this is a song called uh, Skipper's Fiesta. Oh, great. Okay, let's listen live on the loop to our guests, uh, Haynes and Jeremiah. No, no, I. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay, go ahead and use that. Okay, that's good. Hey, ready? Ready. Five o'clock in the traffic, pushing papers all day, singing a song with the radio on. Wish you were a million miles away from the noise and the pollution. People who have nothing nice to say. I have the solution The party starts today, he say I have the solution The party starts today Come on, come on, come on To Skipper's Fiesta You bring the pina coladas I'll bring the beer Come on, come on, come on Skipper's Fiesta Don't be late for the party of the year Stuck at home 
doing laundry, working fingers to the bones. Something's burning in the kitchen now, while you try to answer the telephone. No one appreciates you, no, you got to get away. Skipper's waiting to rendezvous, the party starts today, he say. That we used to use a sound effect in, in uh, uh, place of your missing partner. So that was <laughs> Hans and Jeremiah. <laughs> That's just uh, like right. Uh, you both are blessed with uh, with uh, great talent. You obviously <laughs> enjoy performing. You do so with with ease, and uh, that enthusiasm comes through on the air. I hope uh, it's fun. It's, it's yeah. I mean, I love. I mean, very few people can know what it's like to be in a radio station. I mean, to actually be in the studio, mm -hmm. and it's it's like real quiet, and there's no windows, and it's uh, very insular, and it's a really yeah. nice because I you can't tell how many people are out there. I mean, we're just there's yeah. no, like what there's just one, the three two, of us, three, yeah. four, five, couple people in the control six room. people. It's like very intimate, and it's yeah. really a lot of it's like the greatest place in the world. If it's so intimate, why the hell do we have a two drink minimum? What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Everybody you gotta drink dance. two cups of coffee <laughs> or two diet sodas. Right, exactly. I got some calls for you. Let me mention the phone number again: five nine one rock and roll. And why don't we answer the phone? See what's on the mind of your fans. Hello, Andre. Hey, what's up? Well, we're having a good time. Live music here tonight. Um, I would like to know if any of you can help me get into the music business. Oh, sure, right now. Come on down. You're in it. Hello. What, what, yeah, we're here. What exactly do you want to know? Uh, how I can get started. Well, do you play an instrument or do you perform? What do you do? Uh, lead, 
uh, I specialize in uh, lead singing for mm -hmm. a rock group and or rap. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. Are you, uh, are you working at all? Do you have any experience before an audience? No. No. How old are you? Seventeen. All right. You're just starting out, guys. What are you going to tell them? Go out and play. Go out and play. Find someone to play with and just go out and play. They'll tell you. I mean, they'll tell you if you're good or if you're bad or. Go out and meet other musicians. Well, I just go out and play. Find a band and, and play and sing. They'll tell you. But you just have to go and do it. Uh, do you know where I can find bands around Chicago? Uh, we've been trying to put this band back together for twelve years. Look at one of the look at one of the music papers yeah, and right. find out where the open stages are and yeah. the acoustic yeah. mics and the open stages. They have hundred over a hundred of them. Have you ever seen or read the Illinois Entertainer? Mm -hmm. No. Get a copy of the music store or the reader, mm -hmm. and they have hundreds of ads every week for musicians and vocalists and what have you. Right. Okay, thanks. And before you sure. go, give us a little sample of your talent. Give me a few bars of a song. Come on. Oh, uh, my mother's asleep right now. Oh, we don't mind. Um, you don't have to scream. You know, what's the, give me a, a song. A little, just a few bars. Uh, I don't know any songs I write. I have lyrics, but mm -hmm. no songs. I can read you some lyrics. Well, nah, I want to hear your voice. And I want to hear you perform. Well, if you have faith in yourself and you've been blessed with some talent, I guess perseverance is the next thing you've got to show or have, do it. right? Just do it. Absolutely. Yeah. Go okay. ahead. Try it. Good luck. Look, at, look for the reader and the Illinois entertainer. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Andre. Thanks. All right. Uh, another call here for you guys. Hello, Jerry. Hey, what's going on? Music. First, I want to say you guys are great, you know, and glad to hear you on the radio. Thank you. And uh, Thank getting you. your album, Lakeshore Drive, was uh, was a little tough for me to find. Well, actually, they're out now on CD. It's been, yeah. It's been re-released on CD. It's in all the stores. And it should be, yes, and it should be in all the my stores. Quicksilver Records, <laughs> distributed by KTEL. Yeah, but it, Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, but, you guys, uh, you going to play a little bit more Jimmy Buffett or... Uh... <laughs> I just wanted to hear a little bit. I would. I just don't know it all the way through. I haven't played yeah. it in so long. What about uh, Snow Queen? You, you going to play yeah, that for Yeah, we can do that, sure, if you, if you want it. Sure, absolutely. A request, you absolutely. Bet. You know you their bet. music. But you hum a few bars I'll tell you, for us. I'll tell you something <laughs> quick about Snow Queen. When we did Lakeshore Drive, Snow Queen was done at the same session, the same players. And <clears throat> not a whole lot of people know this, nor do they care, but uh, <laughs> Lake, Lakeshore Drive and yeah. Snow Queen was one of the first songs that a rock and roll band used the Chicago Symphony. We used the string section from the Chicago Symphony oh. on that. And um, when we sent the record out, our record company sent out little cards that said, please, do you, we like this song, we don't like this song, and all that. And we got a call from a disc jockey in Hot Coffee, Mississippi. Of all places. And he says, you know, you boys got a keen group, and you got a really neat sound, and we really like that, that LSD song of yours, uh -huh. but, but we have a very conservative listening audience, and we can't play any drug-related songs, so we're going to play... Uh, that that beautiful love ballad, the flip side, Snow Queen, Snow Queen. which is entirely about cocaine. Right. I mean, entirely, yeah. every song, every word on it. So, so although I have to say, Snow Queen's one of my favorite songs that I ever wrote. I happen to like that song. So, if we get a chance, I would I, I would love to do that. We'll do that next if you want. Well, tell them it's Lakeshore Boulevard then. I'll <laughs> <laughs> do it. LSB. There you go. Yeah. Good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. Yeah. Sure, rock oh, on, guys. Hey, before okay. you, one, one yeah. thing before you go. I, I, is the quality on your radio good tonight? I mean, uh, is the music coming through well? It's, it's great. Just, It's great. That's one of the benefits of FM. Yeah, I never in my life thought, after all the years of being on AM, right. uh, that I would ever be on FM. I used to kid FM jocks all the time. Right. And now I are one. <laughs> <laughs> yep. yep. So the quality is nice. Yeah, yeah. it is. And we're running on both channels tonight, no problem. Cool. Absolutely. All right, Jerry, thank you. All right, talk okay. to you guys. Bye. 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 Let me grab another one here. Tim, uh, Tim or Tom, which is it? It's Tim. A little more reverb, though, okay, Ed? Wait, you know what? I didn't even turn it on. Let me get to see if it's wow, working. Come on, we got to get that. Thank you, thank you. they got to sing LSD one more time, too. Oh. <laughs> Please. Hey, guys, we got to turn on the uh, reverb here. Can somebody come and help me with that? Let's see, all right? I've got one control line. Well, this music's all new to him now with all this, the new station, right? Yeah. With that Right. <laughs> uh, does somebody know how to turn a reverb on, sir? 
Uh -huh. My question was, uh, how does it feel to be immortalized in, in this song forever? Long after you're gone, this song is going to be going to go on forever. You know that. Yeah, apparently, yes. but yes. we're not ready to go yet. <laughs> <laughs> not for a while. It's, we it's, have our walkers outside, though. <laughs> it's it's uh, strange, it's, it's just, it, but it's it's great. I it's mean, an excellent uh, convertible song, especially if you're you driving bet. down the actual street. It's great. We just, In fact, we just took publicity photos for the new album, Sitting in the Backseat of a 1974 Buick Convertible no. on Lakeshore Drive. There you go. Matter, you, you, you pinned it. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. will your kids, if you have them, live off the royalties forever or no? Um, <laughs> um, I think it's about, I think it's, hey, here we there go. We go. Hey, Thank Sunday, you. Sunday, Sunday. Oh, let's Great do it way. again. Let's, let's do it again. Benefit Speedway. It. Yeah. See, Arnie the Farmer Beswick light his nostril hairs on fire. <laughs> Arnie the Farmer Beswick. Remember him? Yes, I do. <laughs> I used to go drag at Union, at uh, Union Grove. Union <laughs> Grove, Wisconsin. You yeah. Or Santa Fe Speedway. Yeah. yeah. Remember the guy who did all those commercials? The guy that Two guys. started that stuff. One of them was uh, the Screaming Wild Man, Carl Bonafetti, yep. and Jan Gabriel. Jan Gabriel with the 57 yep. T-Bird. Right. Jan Gabriel, the last time I saw him, he and I live in the same apartment building. Unless, oh. he, unless he moved out. But I used to see Jan a couple, two or three times a week when I would be leaving to go do my radio program. He'd be coming into the garage door. And every time I saw him, you know that voice in his, right? Right, yeah. Says so I was walking by him in the garage, I go, I'm Jan, how are you? I'm your way home tonight, are you? <laughs> and he'd look at me like, my God, what are you doing? Uh, but uh, it was funny, you had to be there. Yeah, we, we, we were. Right. So, so, Ed, you're proving your hipness by getting them and singing the song, you know that. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I, I've got to be hip, you're right. I don't want to be square. Can you see Ed in a convertible cruising with this song on? I think I can see it. You bet. Yes. You but bet. Let me tell you, up in the parking lot near where I parked, there's a guy who's got himself a fire engine red Mustang convertible, the original year. What year? What year? What was that, 65? And it par yeah. parks near me, and I'm drooling over this car. <laughs> and yeah, I can see myself pulling around. I, got a, that. I have a 65 Thunderbird. Do you? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh -oh. I, uh, I got a friend who bought I got a 57 T-Bird. A candy apple red model, a two-seater. Oh, that's oh. nice. Pretty. Mine's black. It's like he, a Batmobile. He never drives. He's afraid to take it out. Is it T-Bird hard top? Yeah. Uh, oh, how about that? Yeah, I, 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 if you have something like that, it's, I mean, I drive mine. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, you enjoy it. You know? yeah, there are yeah. lots of people who have nice cars and they're paranoid. I worked with a newsman at WIND some years ago. He used to talk every other day about someday he would own a Porsche. And he saved and he saved and he saved. And he bought a very expensive, beautiful Porsche. Mm -hmm. And then he drove it from the dealer home and blocked it in the garage. Oh, my God. And nobody ever saw it. What a waste. So one day he says, uh, guys, you've been bugging me. Tomorrow I'm going to drive down my Porsche, and I'll let you all take a look at it. So he said, okay, cool. I says, pride and joy. This car cost, at that time, like $65,000. He drove it down, and he parked on Michigan Avenue in the 600 block, which is where the studio was. He came upstairs to tell us all his car was there. And while he was upstairs, some son of a bitch came along and hit it. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> we go downstairs, and there's his car plowed into his Porsche. <laughs> and the traffic cop around the corner was a friend of ours was standing there, and he said, I didn't have the heart to tell you. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. He said, I was just going to leave a note on the window. He said, I didn't have the heart to tell you. And I thought this poor guy was going to kill himself. How about Danny with that Viper? Does he drive that? I thought I saw him cruising down the Ogden Avenue about 50 miles an hour. No, uh, I don't know. we got to find out, huh? He was giving free rides before. I thought maybe he'd be giving a couple to you, Ed. He hasn't offered them yet. Oh, come on. Why not? You should just hop in. I'll have a little talk with him about that. Well, I love the song. Get a little reverb. The song will live forever. Um... I hope you're getting royalties off it. I hope you're making enough money. I didn't sort of answer that question before. Yes, yes. They are? Okay, good. Although, although I, I, I will tell you, it took me... I didn't pay attention to the song for 15 years, and I only started really collecting again because I had to sign up with ASCAP again uh, four years ago. But, yeah, it's, it, it does pay. It does pay. And, okay, good. Where can I find it, too? You, it, well, you should be able to get it at Coconuts or... Okay. Um, uh, Rose Records, or um, I'm trying. I don't offhand have. It's supposed to be at almost all of the the uh, record Beatrice? stores. Okay, it's on the new new CD or 
Yes, it's on a new CD. Okay. Uh, late, like uh, Lakeshore Drive. Actually, it's the original album and four songs we found in the studio. We forgot that we recorded. Oh, good. So we put those. So those are extra, mm -hmm. and you should be able to get the new one too. So. It sounds great. Now I can go back and turn the radio. On. And keep up the good work. I'm glad to see you back. I'm glad to see you healthy. And how much? How many pounds did you lose? Uh, 140. I oh think. my wow, God. Man. I got him at home in the fridge. Is he a stutter one? <laughs> okay, bye. Thank Good you. Night. Bye bye. I got him right next to Oprah's fat. <laughs> right there. Um, I'll tell you what, give me a minute, we'll come back and we'll uh, we'll have you sing this song. This is live music tonight on the loop. Last night we were talking heavy stuff and here we are tonight, we're having fun. You never know what you're gonna hear when you're tuning in twenty four hours a day. Also, our morning star, Kevin Matthews, is on vacation this week. And every day this week, he's had a guest star fill in. So this morning, it will be Walter Jacobson filling in from um, Fox News Chicago. Skippy. You, know, Skippy. Yeah, you can say that out loud. Skippy. So he'll be here at 5.30 a.m. Tune in and have fun. He's just a phone call away at 591 Rock and Roll. Chicago Ed on the Loop FM. Team up with MasterCard. It's your ticket to World Cup USA 94. The world's largest sporting event is here, and you can win the hottest ticket in town. The WLUB MasterCard team will be searching for that smart MasterCard shopper throughout Chicago. You can win World Cup USA 94 tickets if you're spotted by the WLUP MasterCard team, either using your MasterCard card, showing your card, or saying the special phrase, MasterCard. It's more than a credit card. It's smart money. Get out and meet the captain of the MasterCard team, Norm Van Leer. You can win World Cup tickets or a World Cup gift back in the World Cup store on the main level at Marshall Field State. Street on June 10th from 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. And when you're out there using your MasterCard card, be sure to visit the MasterCard Coca-Cola Welcome Centers and pick up your free MasterCard World Cup commemorative card and MasterCard World Cup value guide filled with money-saving coupons. So team up with MasterCard and WLUP to win your tickets to the greatest sporting event in the world, World Cup USA 94. And remember MasterCard. It's more than a credit card. It's smart money. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited. For a list of official rules, contact WLUP. Is that what the cutter wears in the World Series, a World Cup? <laughs> <laughs> now, there's a thought. Maybe. I, I, I have these questions that just need to be answered. Absolutely. What a thought. Hey, I'm going to have to give that some thought. Skip Haynes, present and accounted for. Yes, sir. John Jeremiah, present and accounted yeah. for. Yeah. Gentlemen, we'd love to hear your song, Snow Queen. <coughs> and okay. let me see if the reverb is working out. Oh, my Ooh. God. Ooh. Uh, we sound like we're in the Hancock Center basement. Yes. Here Are they we? are from behind the uh, hot water <laughs> pump. <laughs> Here we go. Kiss that froze my lips The Snow Queen made her way up from the side She glittered and she shone She crystallized my bones Then she turned and froze my heart She was gone How was I to know There was nothing left to show Twice times two and caught between the lines Should have known it all along We've been singing no angel songs I was lonely but by God she was good at times
Something more entertaining on the radio in this town right now. Tell me, I'll listen to it. That was fun. I really no, it. no, was fun. no way can anybody be better than this. Because Snow Queen's a late night song. That's a great song. Skip Haynes and John Jeremiah of Alioda Haynes and Jeremiah. That was absolutely studio quality. That Thank really you. was. I'm no engineer, but I'm damn happy with the way that came out. Me too. It's a beautiful song. Thank you. You know, the time is right perhaps, to think about re-releasing that as a single, even. I would re-release it anytime. Yeah, it's one of my yeah. favorite songs. It's a beautiful piece of work. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back. I'm glad that you guys are here. We're glad to be here. We're, We're glad to be anywhere. At this hour. <laughs> yes. uh, 591 Rock and Roll. That's our phone number. This is WLUP Chicago, FM 97.9. Carol McGowan now takes over, and I'll tell you what, kid, I don't know how you're going to top these guys. But, you know, uh, it'll be really hard. Even the people in the AM studio were telling me that they were listening on their headphones, and they're on the air over there. Oh, oh. that's right. We're, we're, mm-hmm. we're running three different radio stations here. <laughs> but they're listening to us while they're doing their thing. And, and on, that's WMVP, our sports station. Norm Van Leer is down the hall. He is. And uh, ask Norm to stop over. Control room, ask Norm to stop over. I think it gets off now at 2 a.m. And see if we'll come in and say, introduce the guys. This, is the, this not only was a great NBA basketball player, but he's one of the brightest guys you'd ever want to meet. Mm-hmm. He's very opinionated, he's very bright, and very nice. Great. Yeah, intense. So we'll see if we'll come over. Carol, we'll turn things over to you, and then we'll come back. Here's Carol. And it is 201 on the Loop FM, WLUP Chicago. Congressman Dan Rostenkowski's long run as House Ways and Means Committee Chairman has come to a screeching halt. The Democrat from the Windy City was named at a 17-count felony indictment yesterday. It alleges embezzlement and misuse of his congressional allowance at the taxpayer's expense. That's us. One of Rosti's next stops will be in court for an arraignment sometimes within the next, uh, sometime within the next 10 days. The new acting chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee is Congressman Sam Gibbons. Rosti, however, still remains a member of the committee. The record for homicides in Chicago during May was broken last night when a 16-year-old boy was killed in a shooting on the south side. It happened at 71st in Oakley. The boy's death raises the homicide toll for the month of May to 84, passing the record set for May of 1992 by one. Rescue workers dragging the bottom of a private lake in Gray's Lake found a body yesterday. 19-year-old Joseph Boyle was missing since Memorial Day when he and a friend were riding on a rowboat and it filled with water. The other 19-year-old was rescued. The Montrose Avenue Beach off of Lakeshore Drive is getting to look a little le- a little like Normandy, France did 50 years ago. Crews are working with volunteers to set up the D-Day re- recreation that's set for noon on Saturday. More than 100 people will be working on the beach and lending a hand by the time the weekend rolls around. It was a pretty big one yesterday in south suburban Chicago Heights. A fire wiped out an abandoned furniture factory. So far, the cause of the fire is not known. One firefighter was slightly hurt. Good news on the job 
front, a survey says that 23% of employers in Chicago and the suburbs expect to increase their staffs from July through September. Only 7% are planning layoffs. The man accused of shooting former Nation of Islam spokesman Khalid Abdul Muhammad is pleading innocent. James Edward Bass is charged with one count of attempted premeditated murder and five counts of assault with a firearm. Muhammad was shot in the legs and five others were hurt as well. A senior Pentagon official says the 4,000 U.S. troops off the coast of Somalia are expected to head home within the week. The four-ship task force has been stationed off the Somali coast to back up the U.S. pullout from Somalia. And finally... You'd think that a family sightseeing in Washington, D.C. would pr be pretty thrilled to have their picture taken with President Clinton. And maybe they were, though you couldn't quite tell it from their reaction. While jogging yesterday, Clinton passed a group of tourists and stopped to say hello. He even posed for a picture with them, and then he sprinted the rest of the way to the White House. A cameraman who was following the big guy shouted to the tourists, What more could you ask for? Their answer was George Bush. I'll take a look at sports, traffic, and weather up next on the Loop FM 97.9. Live from Wrigley Field, where everybody plays, the game show everybody plays, where you try to guess the sounds of Wrigley Field. Okay, here's the first sound coming at you. That's right, the L at Addison, unloading hordes of Cubs fans hungry for baseball. Here's another one for you to chew on. Right again, Sammy Sosa chewing sunflower seeds between innings. If you guess Randy Hundley, you haven't been to the park for a while, have you? Now, listen very carefully. It might be! It could be! It is! If you don't know that one, stop listening to the radio right now. Head to Wrigley Field and pick up on the sounds and sights of Cubs baseball. Friday, June 10th is Bud Light Floppy Hat Day. The first 10,000 adults attending the Cubs-Dodgers game receive a Cubs floppy hat, compliments of Bud Light. For tickets to any Cubs game this season, call 312-831-CUBS. In Loop FM Sports, last night it was the Phillies over our Cubs at Wrigley, 8-7. The Yankees over the White Sox in New York, 10-1. Later today, the Cubs and the Sox both play. Loop FM Shadow Traffic says the outbound Kennedy still stacks up from Belmont to Pulaski with road work leaving it down to one lane. The express lanes are closed. It's 18 minutes to the junction, 28 to Ohio. Hair. Stevenson Expressway looking pretty good, but it is down to one lane outbound from Kedzie to Cicero. The outbound ride a little tight on the south end with road work. It's about 20 minutes from downtown out to 95th. Loop FM weather says for the overnight hours, clear with a low of 54. Later today, mostly sunny, windy, cooler, a high of 75, but cooler along the lake. For your Wednesday night, clear with a low of 45. And for Thursday, partly sunny and cool with a high of 67. Right now, the winds are northwest at 8. The humidity is 52%. It's 62 at O'Hare, 67 at Midway, and 70 here at the Loop FM 97.9. Back to the guy, the only guy that has a show going at this time in the city, Chicago Ed Schwartz. Hey, hey. We, uh, we just had a visit from Norm Van Leer. His mm -hmm. show ended. He came over to visit, and uh, I invited him to come in tomorrow and visit with us. We've Excellent. got a couple of things happening. Our guests want to take a quick coffee break. Go ahead, go ahead. This time, right, right, ahead, right now, go ahead. <laughs> That's a polite way of saying he's going to go to the can and take a leak. <laughs> well, you're not supposed to say that on the air, oh, I guess. No. I don't know. Mm -mm. I said that one night on the uh, last station I was on before I came here. I, I said something like, I, I was not in the room when the news ended, and uh, there was a commercial, and then uh, my partner over there said, where were you, knowing where I was, of course. I said, normally you'd say, like, oh, I was in the control room. <laughs> control. I said, I was in the can. <laughs> and, and several people wrote letters of complaint. Really? So the boss says to me, he said, did you say you were in the can? I said, yeah, I guess I did. Well, that doesn't sound so good. Don't do that. Well, see here, you really... There's only a few things you can't say here. Right. And, and I think Steve Dow said them all anyway. It's true. Of course, look what happened to him. But that, Whoa! Hey, we don't even want to think about that. So, uh, let's see. Um, John Jeremiah went to the um, control room. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay? He gets nervous. And he'll be back in short leg. And uh, then we're going to listen to some more music. Our phone number is 591-ROCK and 591-ROLL. I might as well take a moment while I have to tell you about our show tonight. As we come around the clock, uh, I did invite Norm Van Leer in. He said he'd try and stop by. That'd be around 2 a.m. 
But our first guest tonight will be the head, the director, the boss man of the Illinois State Police. The big cheese. Terry Gaynor, director. Now, we're going to talk about a lot of things, including how this past holiday weekend was handled. Also, whether they're getting a lot of compliance with uh, DUI and seatbelt and insurance laws. Also, we'll talk about the uh, the incident with the Greyhound bus on the tollway a couple weeks ago. And there's a new law on the books in Illinois that I don't understand. The law is, if you have your windshield wipers on, you have to have your headlights on, even if it's bright sunlight. Wow. If there's a sun shower and you have your wipers on, you have to have your lights on. I've never understood this law. Mm-mm. Even if you want to just clean your windows, you have to yeah. have them on. It doesn't make any sense. If you use your windshield washer for a minute and you're in traffic, you're in the car, you got to have your headlights on. Boy, what, what police can... officer would write you up for that? What a concept. But why? It doesn't make any sense to me. And I guess it's part of the Illinois Motor Vehicle Code now. <laughs> why would somebody waste the time of the legislature coming up with a thing like that? doesn't hey, make any it's sense. their job. <laughs> they got to do something, right? It's their job. Right, Maybe well. he'll have a good explanation. Well, you know, he's got to enforce it. He didn't pass it, but maybe he'll know why they did it. Yeah, that's kind of a... I'm going to look up a lot of other laws that need to be looked at, but that, that doesn't make any sense. Especially if they bust people on it. And now also, I guess they're going to, and I think it's a federal law, in a year or two, all cars will have to have running lights on them all the time. In other words, visible from the front. Now, there was a time some years ago when they were doing them as an ancillary thing. But now every vehicle, I guess there's some European countries where every car has a running light. I guess that's to tell you that the car is either moving or it's on. Well, I have a 65 Thunderbird, so they don't, mm-hmm. doesn't, I mean, nothing. And I live in California, and they have all sorts of laws, but it's so old that... Yeah. I don't know whether old cars will be grandfathered in or what. Mm-hmm. Or to be fair, grandmother again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that might care so old it has tubes. You should see when you go to a gas station and uh, tell some kid, uh, <laughs> fix the tube, and they go like, tube, dude? <laughs> you know, yeah, we, I have to carry them. I have to carry tubes in the trunk. Really? I've got an old car, a very old car, 15 years old. I used to have, I have a thing under the hood that nobody's ever seen before, a carburetor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a gas station the other day and checked the oil. The guy lifts the hood and he yells at his partner, Hi, Murrow, get out of here! This guy's got something I've never seen before! <laughs> and he comes out and says, Whoa, whoa, Roy, what is that? And I say, Hey, fellas, that's a carburetor. Yep, yep. <sighs> Murrow, it's a thing called a carburetor. What are they doing them do? I said, It's easy, it rates carbs. <laughs> carburetor. <laughs> No, they bought it. Yeah, they 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 just don't know. I mean, it, it's it's funny. I had to carry tubes and patches yeah, and everything boy. else. I uh, I don't know that I, I'm, I'm gonna have to buy a car one of these days. But I you know computers screw up all the time. Oh yeah. You think about it, your car is run by a computer. You know, made by some guy in Mexico for twelve cents an hour. Right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I want those things in my car. Well, mine, I can still, because my car is like, it's all vacuum system. Yeah. You can fix it. You can stick a pencil in the vacuum. And you're in and business. It, and I can, it does have a carburetor. And, and you know, know what? If they still make that car today, people would buy them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like the VW Bug. If they ever bring that back, people will buy them. Oh, of course. Never quite understood why they got rid of it. Progress. Well, yeah. <laughs> Progress is our <laughs> most important product. It's like, it's like what was it, um... Was it Dow or one of the big chemical companies? Their slogan used to be, Better things for better living through chemistry. Better living through chemistry. Oh, that was, <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, that yeah. was our slogan for a long time. I thought yeah. Timothy Leary <laughs> thought of that one. <laughs> well, that changed their slogan to Better things for better living. That was every, everybody that did dope through the mm-hmm. 60s and 70s. That was the slogan. Mm-hmm. Better living through chemistry. I was interviewing Timothy Leary one night some years ago when Ronald Reagan was president at that time. Nancy Reagan had her big say no to drugs campaign going. Mm-hmm. So I asked him what he thought of it. He said, well, frankly, he said, I think we ought to be more polite. 
If you're going to say no, say no, thank you. <laughs> you know that Timothy Leary's, he has, his saying is just say no. K-N-O-W. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's, that's what Timothy Leary, I know. He's, he copyrighted that, did he? He lives sort of close to me when he's living in California. He's still he's around. He's still oh, around. you bet, yeah. He does a comedy act on Sunset Strip. You know I guess that? his brain was a little burned out, I think. He was on a TV talk show a couple weeks ago. Uh, I, I can't remember which one. He was doing a two-man Late public night. speaking tour for by a while. Himself. Yeah, uh, by yeah himself. and then with Gordon Livick. Oh, there's a kind I understand of it was yeah. a panel. He talked He talked to himself on yeah. the yeah. panel. <laughs> well, if you, if you do that, if you Maybe. do as much drugs as that, I mean, it's got to, you know, affect your, your lean end life a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does, somewhat. And here was a guy who was uh, pretty bright. Mm, and uh, it got him. Oh, he's still no. He's just he's really bright, but you know it 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 mm. ages you. You can't. It, it's yeah. too intense. Yeah, you know? it, it messes with your brain cells. No, no, not really, not really, not really. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> right. Old drug injuries. What can I tell you? Uh, I'm very old. I hope. We're all right yes. now, though. Yeah, right. Oh, yes. <laughs> now we we've been clean for some time. I would hope so. I've been clean. I took a shower just yesterday. Mm-hmm. Oh, that too, huh? We better stop all these terrible jokes. Uh, you guys were tuning up before we took our news break for a song. What's what? Oh yes, for Eddie. It's not it's not me though. Why don't you tell the story about what the, who this is for? Uh, this is about uh, this is a song. There used to be a fellow named um, Eddie Balchowski, and uh, very well known. Oh yeah, in the Chicago nightclub and artistic community, music community. Right. He was a uh, he um, was a concert pianist, and he went to fight in the. Sp- Spanish Civil War, and he got his hand blown off, and consequently they put him on morphine, he became a drug addict, he was known for being a drug addict and getting off of drugs, and uh, in fact, he was in prison next to Carol Chessman, I believe, the cop killer. Oh, in California. And uh, they considered him partly rehabilitated, Chessman, not enough to not toast him, mm-hmm. but they considered him partially rehabilitated from meeting with Eddie, and when we met Eddie, he was uh, cleaning up at a place called The Quiet Night, which was on uh, Belmont, Belmont and Sheffield. Yeah. Club and, owned by one Richard Harding. Richard Dick Harding, Harding yeah. oh, yes, yes, wherever yeah. he is. And uh, Eddie um, used to clean up all the time, and he slept on the pool table, and there was uh, a dog, a white German shepherd named Duke, that was the meanest motorcycle ever. This dog was so mean that they would ring a bell in the club to make sure that everybody was out before they let Duke loose. In fact, one uh, assistant manager didn't make it, and the dog broke his arm. The only person Duke would obey was Eddie. And after all the shows, Eddie would go up and they had this piano, you know, up to quiet night, and he could still play beautiful piano. And he'd get up there and play Beethoven and things, and we didn't know what it was. Duke would go right under the piano stool and sit there and we heard it one night we were playing there and we left the office late and we heard this music coming out of the room and what the, what's that and we went to see it and there's eddie playing the piano one handed well it's like one handed yeah, but he stump. played he played oh, he with played. his other yeah yeah what was and, left and uh his stump jam was called a stump he used to call it a stump <sighs> and i uh, wasn't gonna reiterate <laughs> that that's for the fans said. out there and um um Duke wouldn't let you more than 10 feet away. So, and, and he would sit there all the old time had he played, and Duke would just sit there and listen to music. So, you know, we write songs. That's what we do. And it was this great thing. And uh, I remember I got a new classical guitar. And it's the only song I ever wrote on that guitar. It's the only uh-huh. time I ever played it. And, uh, he died a, man, a couple of years ago, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Uh, I believe he fell off the L platform. Oof. Yeah, and they, and they Belmont there and, uh, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know where it was. I, I mm-hmm. know they had a I guess like a wake type or funeral mm-hmm. thing at, at the Busy Bee. You know, lots of people came to that. Right? Oh yeah, he was he was very uh, popular. He was he was, he was a pretty good friend of ours. He was a Chicago character. Completely. Yeah. And matter of fact, they had a benefit for him at the Quiet Night, and Leo uh, Kotke and we sang and I think Stevie Goodman and Bonnie everybody that was around. And they collected about, I guess, about fifteen thousand dollars or something like that. And uh, Eddie was up there uh, singing with his Spanish Civil War buddies, singing Spanish Civil War songs, getting toasted. So everybody else is up making presentations. We're back at the bar doing 
drinking as we normally uh-huh. were doing. And Eddie walks in, and we had a couple of drinks with him, and he, he asked, you know, did they collect the money? We went, yeah, I guess it's in Richard's <laughs> office. And apparently, Eddie just went to the office, and I took the money, and I got an airplane and went to Florida and bought a shrimp boat or something uh, like that. Uh, uh, and everybody else is going, oh, where's Mr. Valchowski? We're going to give him his award now. And we're going, oh, well, he's, he's got in the case he's gone. He's at the he, airport. Uh, yeah, he was yeah. actually just a great guy, you know. And, uh, a real legend. Yeah, he was just one other Eddie Valchowski story somebody told me. Uh, the police knew him very well. And uh, apparently, he was in... You know, one of the, I don't know, the 18th Precinct or someplace. He was in a lockup or something, and uh, probably drugs at that time. And he was wearing the, you know, jumpsuit they give him and everything. And I guess these police, they, there was a rookie, there was a new cop on the beat, their new cop came in, so they ran this little game on him with Eddie's connivance. They came running out of the fingerprint room, and they came up this guy, and he said, <clears throat> you got to go print this guy. We're having a heck of a time trying to get him printed. But you got to go in and do it. We're busy. And he walked in, and Eddie had stuck his stump in his mouth. And the cop came out. He almost needed counseling. He says, the guy swallowed his hand. I can't get it out of his uh-huh. mouth. He's going to die. Uh-huh. So Eddie was that kind of guy, too. But he was he was very artistic. You know, he, was, he was a kind of guy. And he inspired this song. Mm-hmm. Let's listen. Did I start or did you? That's all right. I'll start. We'll, no, bo- we'll both start it. Okay, we haven't done this for a while. Here we go, for Eddie. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. He'd been dealt a bad hand, nearly 50 years old, cleaning glasses at night in a bar. Play him his tunes on a piano, tired out and marred. And the stone angel hung on the wall above, looked out blind all the night long. When no one on man played to an empty saloon, she looked down and smiled. He played her his songs Duke the white shepherd Who guarded the room Never leaving the back of the barn Would climb up on the stage And curl up round his feet as to guard him and his music from harm and the stone angel hung on the wall up above looked a blind all the night long when no one on man played to an empty saloon she looked down and smiled I heard him one night when he thought to be alone, and I lied and I did him a wrong. I can't give back the pleasure his music gave to me. I can only give him this song He played better with one hand Than most men with two Yet made posters for all of the stars And I wish to my heart he could play for you So you'd know just how happy you are and the stone angel hung on the wall up above And me and the big white dog All stopped once to listen to the one-armed man play 
to the smiles in an empty saloon. Did he, uh, did he sing that? What was his reaction to that song? I got my tattoo for that song. Ah. Uh, you really did. Uh, uh, really? And they made me get one, too. A guy named Cliff Raven used to have a tattoo parlor on Belmont Avenue. Mm -hmm. and not, he's in California now. He came up to us after that album came out, and he said, You don't know me. My name's Cliff Raven. I make tattoos. He said, Eddie Belchowski's a friend of mine. And I said, and I went and played the record, for the song for him, and he really liked it, so I'll give you any tattoo you want for your song. Ah. Uh. So oh. I said, art for art. So I got my tattoo about that? for uh, Eddie's song. You know, there's been seven or eight songs written about Eddie. I hear this is the, the, more, the most poignant I've ever heard. That's what I say. But yeah. <laughs> but, <there again. laughs> but, yes. but what the heck, now we got to pay a royalty because we, uh, we performed it here. That'll be a little something in the envelope for you. Hey, every little bit. And it's okay with me. I, I, we still have some time if you want to pop in here. Our phone number is 591-ROCK, 591-ROLL. As a matter of fact, I think this will help out. Eddie Schwartz is taking your calls at 591-7625 and 591-7655. Stay up with Eddie on 97.9, The Loop FM. Yeah, if you can keep it up, by all means, please do. Canada Dry Cranberry Ginger Ale has less sugar than most regular soft drinks. It's not too sweet. Cranberry can't be beat. Canada Dry Cranberry Ginger Ale's not too sweet. Okay, everybody, it's not too sweet. Great, just the kids. Cranberry can't be beat. Now the newborns. Good, not too sweet. Okay, now people with a big mouthful of cranberries. It's not too sweet. Game show announcers. Cranberry can't be beat. Yes, sir. Now anyone who'd like to spend an hour alone with their boss. And slap them around a little. It's, not too sweet. it's easy to sing the praises of Canada Dry Cranberry Ginger Ale. It has less sugar than most leading non diet soft drinks, plus a delicious kick of cranberry. Okay, just the really tone deaf people. It's not too sweet. Beautiful. Canada Dry Cranberry Ginger Ale. Finally, a taste that's not too sweet. Also in diet. Ever wonder why Brand Meyer's number one in the afternoon? Because people love them. I don't like your attitude. You're treating me like I'm some kind of a creep here. They respect him. Listen, you, we don't have to deal with this right now no, if you don't I, want to. I think you can deal with my attorney. They love to hear his friendly voice. John the Bradmire at the Loop of Chicago. Oh, God. Even celebrities love to visit him in the studio. Don't be rude. I'm not rude. You're being rude. Listeners love Johnny. And in his own humble way, if Johnny was to describe himself, he would say... What an idiot! Brand Meyer. Afternoons on 97.9, the Loop FM. He said it. We didn't. And uh, he'll be here today. I swear, uh, Walter Jacobson sitting in for Kevin Matthews. Really? That's here. this morning? This morning. Now, Walter knows a lot of important people, so... Wouldn't surprise me if some of them ended up on the air, huh? You never know. Carol McGowan at 2.30 with an update from the Loop FM. And Carol? Loop FM shadow traffic says the outbound Kennedy is still a bit slow around Kimball. That's because from Kimball to Pulaski, the road work is in the right lane until 5 this morning and not helping any of the express lanes are closed. It's about 15 to the junction, 25 to the airport. Inbound Kennedy looks good. Outbound on the Ryan Expressway, plenty of extra road work on the south end, but it's moving fine now, 15 minutes from downtown out to 95th Street. Now on the outbound Stevenson from Kedzie to Cicero, it's down to one lane until five, and they are working with an accident with injuries in Arlington Heights at Wilkie and Thomas. Traffic is brought to you by John Deere. It's Deere season. Save now on a John Deere STX 38 for $19.99 or $38 a month. Nothing runs like a deer from Kipps Lawnmower Sales and Service. Loop FM weather says for the rest of the overnight hours, clear with a low of 54. Later today, mostly sunny, windy, and cooler with a high of 75, but cooler near the lake. For your Wednesday night, clear with a low of 45, and for Thursday, partly sunny and cool with a high of 67. Right now, the winds are northwest at 7. The humidity is 52 percent. It's 62 at O'Hare, 65 at Midway, and 69 here at the Loop FM 97.9. And you, uh, you know the magic number? Mm-hmm. And that is it. Aliota Haynes and Jeremiah, well, almost all of them are here. Almost right? Aliota Haynes and Jeremiah. John Jeremiah, Steve Haynes are both here. And uh, we're, we're making music. They've got a new album out, a new CD. A year ago, when they were here last, 
they sang a song called Nicotine in a Nick of Time. And that's now on their new album, and is also, you, you feel, the strongest song on the album? Well, that's what their, their record company is mm -hmm. pushing at the moment, as, as far as I know. I see. Well, I've got that in the CD player, but I, uh, if I leave the microphones on, you guys can sing along with yourself. Yeah, I'll karaoke. I love it. Four-part <laughs> harmony. What do you think? Is it live? Is it Memorex? Yeah, we won't know until something breaks. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. Let's see if I've got it set here. That's it. Okay. Here we go. They can do the ashtray looking for butts. At three in the morning, I must be nuts. I crawl ten miles through the driving rain. Tell my senses and my brain. I got to make it to the store. Nicotine in the nick of time I'm truly like a poodle that blows my mind a Nicotine in the nick of time Cause those butts, butts, butts They're driving me nuts, nuts, nuts Tobacco companies gave all design Those butts, butts, butts They're driving me nuts, nuts, nuts Got to find some smokes and lose my mind. Ooh, and that's right, I'm talking cigarettes. Put your money down, please your bets. Only cost ten bucks a pack. I guess the price get me coming back. I got to make it to the store. Ooh, and lose my mind. Nicotine in the nick of time. Nicotine in the nick of time. Truly like a poodle, it blows my mind Nicotine in the nick of time It's those butts, butts, butts They're driving me nuts, nuts, nuts Tobacco companies leave all design It's those butts, butts, butts They're driving me nuts, nuts, nuts I got to find some smokes and lose my mind Ooh. Take a pass, you got double A of alcohol, Jones, sex, take it or leave it alone. I got to find some smokes, use my mind. Nicotine in the nick of time, nicotine in the nick of time, truly like a poodle, it blows my mind. Nicotine in the nick of time. It's those butts, 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 they're driving me nuts, nuts, nuts. Tobacco companies give all design. It's those butts, butts, butts. They're driving me nuts, nuts, nuts. I got to find some smokes to lose my mind. Ooh. Nicotine in the nick of time. Nicotine in the nick of time. Truly like a poodle that blows my mind. Nicotine in the nick of time. Nicotine in the nick of time Nicotine in the nick of time uh, That worked out well. That was great. Thank you. Have you ever done that before on the radio? Or no, never, never on the radio. Never. You know, if, radio. If, you, if you start late, it messes up. You guys started right on time, and uh, it was great. Oh, I tell you what, we did a show last night where we actually used tapes because Mitchell wasn't there, so mm -hmm. it was the first time we ever tried it. And it worked out great, except for the first show, the tape deck. Uh. There was a uh, a uh, um, a salsa DJ in the night before in this club, uh -huh. and he just rack and rolled on this tape deck and broke the, the button. Uh. So when the tape... Because it was, it was, we had it all planned out. It was really suave, mm -hmm. and... Our radio, our uh, sound guy would just start it and stop it, and then we'd do a little talking. Mm -hmm. You know, that was the plan. Well, once it started, it just kept going. 
And he was just like... Runaway page. But we caught up anyway. So the show, instead of being an hour and a half, was like 45 minutes. But the best 45 minutes he ever did, right? There's nothing we could do about it. That's fine. I have a, I have an idea. This this will be great because this will get a lot of use. Carol said before, he said, "Why don't you just sing Late Shore Drive again?" And I realized that but that doesn't have to be the closing song. I'll tell you what I want to do. Okay. I'm going to hand each of you a piece of paper with a name on it, and I want you to make another custom version. All right. Mm-hmm. But don't say the name on the paper until you get to it in the song, and then throw it in. Okay. Okay. Because I want it to be a surprise to all listening. There's a piece uh, for both of you. I don't know whether you know that name or not. There's a very famous name around here. Okay? I'll explain after you do it. Okay? So listen closely at home or at work, wherever you are. Because they're going to do another version of uh, Lakeshore Drive. This will be a custom version. T or J. That's a J. Thank okay. you. And uh, I know we're going to enjoy this, and no. it's going to get a lot of use. Don't say the name. No, no, don't no, say I, it. I won't say it. I'm, okay. I'm just say the name. I'm planning it in my head. You're little... thinking it in your head? Don't, okay. say the name. don't, don't think it too much. If you're tripping on by with yeah, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay. All right, but the other part will be the same as for. No, don't put me in there. This is just for this, this person. Okay. Oh, let's do one of these things where we sing Lakeshore Drive for like 48 hours and put in. Everybody's name. Everybody's right. name. Well, now this one, just do this one guy, all right? <laughs> sure. I'll, tell you why, I'll tell you why when you're done, okay? okay. Here we go. Like it, no, anywhere I found Tripping on by with 
Jimmy Shorts, Friday night trouble bound. Oh, tripping on by with Jimmy Shorts, Friday night trouble bound. It's around. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. Let's make sure we get that on tape for Kevin, okay? Who's Jimmy Shorts? He's a sports reporter uh -huh. on the Kevin Matthews show. And uh, he will be very thrilled for the first time to have his own song. Well, that's great. You know, uh, Kevin, um, my neighbor in Los Angeles is a really good buddy of Kevin's. Mm. My ex-neighbor, uh, Tracy uh, Tobin. We all have to say we're At least that's what she says. Uh -huh. At least that's what she tells me. And uh, she... so it's going there, huh? Yeah, you guys will be big heroes when Kevin comes in on Monday. We present well, this to Jimmy. I mean, we, this is the first time we were playing Lake Shore Drive twice yeah. on the radio. That's great, though. That is oh, great. This is wonderful. Yeah, we're having fun. Let's take a quick break, and we'll be back. Can't keep the guys forever. You know, time is. Yeah, it's on the move, it's uh, it's it's moving. At Schwartz, ninety-seven nine FM. When are you gentlemen scheduled to come back to the area to perform? We're coming back. We're going to play the Halstead Street uh, Fair. Fest, fair, yes, and we'll be in for about a month, from uh -huh. the middle of July to almost the middle of August, and we're just going to play every place we possibly can. Does that mean you'll come back one night and sit with me? And we'll come and play and sing again. Maybe we'll bring one of our friends. Is Mitch going to be with you or don't you know yet? It depends on his leg. As soon yeah. as possible. As soon as possible. Be nice to see him again. Be nice to have you guys in here again. Now, when you were here for that month, will you be uh, booked in advance or will we be looking for places to play or what? Both. Both. Mm -hmm. Both. We'll play anywhere. Things booked, but... play anywhere. Put four chairs in a row and they'll, <clears throat> they'll play, right? That's right. That's uh -huh. it. Tell you what, let me have a break. We'll be right back. We're going to say goodnight in a moment to our guests. They're doing a little rehearsal here, a little warm up. Go mm -hmm. ahead, tune up. It's okay. We're on the air, but that's fine. You having fun, Carol? Mm hmm. Good. Okay. They're ready, huh? Okay, uh, this is a song that's on our new CD. All right. This but not all of it, but not all of it. Just. Just half of it. This will be the good night song. This is it. Okay. Here we go. It's been a long, long night. Everything didn't work out right. I guess I gotta say what I think, little girl. You've been telling me, you know, you just don't understand. We'll never talk like this again, cause you're a one night stand. Please don't ask my pardon, I won't ask for yours. Can only say thank you, girl, as I'm walking, as I'm walking out. It's a hard, hard sight Showing in the morning's light You're thinking that I shouldn't have stayed Little girl It's too late for us now Your bed's already messed it Must be time for me to leave I see you're already dressed As I'm walking, as I'm walking out your door
a fine, fine night Everything worked out all right Even though you didn't know it Little girl You told me that you knew You still don't understand We'll never talk like this again Cause you're a one night stand We'll never talk like this again Cause I'm a one night stand We'll never talk like this again Cause we're a one night stand But I get a tingle riding clippity clop atop a single saddle The women that try to tempt me The minute the pantry's empty ask a daddle Single saddle Leading my horse to water I am covering your neighbor's daughter Single saddle The words she says are flowery But the minute she shows her dowry ask a daddle Single saddle Ain't a Philly been born Bitch, a rose or a thorn Gonna keep me from the lone prairie When they're rounding up strays All they ever get are names From my Palomino pal And me Oh, 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 oh. When they get out a halter, they hitch me to the altar, ask a daddle, single saddle. The women they try to tempt me, but the minute the pantry's empty, ask a daddle, single saddle, single saddle. I'm a straddle without a paddle. A one, two, Everybody sing happy trails to you Until we meet again Happy trails, happy trails to you Keep smiling, keep smiling until then Happy trails to you Till we meet again Thank you and good night. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. Two thirds of Aliota, Haynes, and Jeremiah. Skip, thank you very much. Thank Eddie, you're, thank you. You're beautiful. As always, it's been a lot it's of fun. It's been fun. It's been kicking. And John, thank you very thank much. Thank you for having us. Play well. See the guys in August? You bet. You bet. In the meantime, watch for their albums in the stores. They're, They're there. there. They're there. And watch for their names in the newspaper and on marquees. And if you see it, go. Uh, Go do it. One day I'd love to have a, on one show you guys, Corky and uh, Bonnie. We should do that. Why don't we one night? Yeah. That would be great. Yeah. Yeah. We, we should actually do that. That would be great. People who enjoy their craft and, and don't mind coming in and making a little music. There's some performers who would never ask I don't to make music because they just wouldn't do it. This is not cancer research. No, no, no. <laughs> All we're doing is music. And I'm not a brain surgeon. <laughs> But you guys were great tonight. This is fun, and we enjoyed doing it. Well, thank you very much. So, so, so did we. We'll see you soon. You bet. All right.